renewing with a renewal with EFT, cultivating that growth and that positive change. So I'm Lorna Hollinger. I'm the CEO and the founder of the Australian Tapping Institute. And I'm always so thrilled to be here with you on let's talk about EFT as a as a positive tool. Let's talk about it as a transformational tool. Let's talk about it in a space where we cultivate your personal growth. So for so much of the time, EFT is um, pegged as the tool that we use to get rid of negative stuff and to move through negative stuff. So what I'm going to share with you a bit of value is we do need, while we're looking at the positive growth and we're talking at the positive change in the shifts, there does need to be an element of still getting into some of the negative stuff. If you are someone who's going to do some tapping and you're just going to do the positive stuff, there's this weirdo fun phenomenon that happens and in the EFT world, we call them tail enders. So let's just imagine you have your wonderful affirmation that, um, what could be your wonderful affirmation? I'm always eating healthy all of the time and I'm going to get to my goal weight really soon. I'm going to get to my goal weight. Affirmations, let's face it, we would usually go, I'm at my goal weight. I'm at my goal weight. I'm going to be healthy and fit and I'm at my goal weight. Well, the tail enders bit is, the little voice that then goes, yeah, right? Really? I don't think so. Huh. I haven't done it before. Failed every other time. You know that little voice that chatters? When you say your affirmations and you say your positive stuff and we say it in as if I've already got it and we say it in the, in the right tone, in the right context and everything, and then that little voice goes, mm, I don't think so. In your dreams, other people can, you can't. All of those things, all of those things are tail enders. So when we're looking at the EFT as a space to cultivate that, that growth and cultivate the space of being able to transform the life that we have, we cannot discount, we cannot let go of, we cannot ignore all of those things that we call tail enders, which is the simple stuff in your dreams, as if you didn't before, why would you now? All the little voice in your head that answers when you say your affirmations. So what you're going to do with those is, so you know, I'm in my perfect health and I love, love the body that I'm in. And the voice goes, yeah, but what about your wrinkles? Yeah, but what about all those love handles? Yeah, but what about the extra weight around your middle? Yeah, but think of it as the yeah, but. So you, you might be going to be able to do them so even though I have these love handles on my hips, I don't particularly love them. I'm going to accept the body that I live in and all that it does for me. Even though I do not love these love handles and I do not like the shape that my body currently is in, I'm going to accept all that my body does for me because it keeps me alive. But even though... I look at my body and I'm not happy. I don't love the body that I live in. I am going to accept that this is the only place that I get to live for the rest of my natural life. Notice the different little nuances in there. So you might then do some tapping on um, these thoughts that I have, the dislike of my body. I don't particularly like my body but it keeps me alive, does everything I need it to do. I'm so grateful that I've got it. So grateful I'm still here. I'm just so grateful. Then let's take it another step. Then let's step into a space that quite often we forget when it comes to body work, when it comes to body shame and guilt and being overweight and not having the body we want. And that is, dear body, will you please forgive me? Because more often than not, we're blaming our body. Will you please forgive me for all the times I did not look after you well, for all the times I did not do the right thing by you, for all of these times when I didn't feed you right, I didn't give you nutrition, I ate garbage and junk, I didn't drink enough water, Gave into cravings, picked poor food choices, didn't sleep, 
books some garbage in, ate some junk, drank some shitty stuff. But my dear body, I ask you to forgive me. I ask you to forgive the choices I made. I ask you to forgive me. Forgive me for the times I didn't get it right. Forgive me for the times I didn't feed you well. Forgive me for the times when my dialogue was just playing on repeat. Forgive me for the ways I mistreated you and the way I judged you so poorly. Notice how that's very, very, very different to what we normally think of our bodies. Most of us, when we're into a, a place of not loving the body we live in, we are blaming the body. We are blaming the body for what it's got going on. We are playing the shame game. We are doing all sorts of things that indicate I'm not happy with you. But what about asking your body to forgive you? You're the one that's put the food in, the rubbish in, all the stuff that you've done. You're the one that's done all of that. So imagine asking your body for forgiveness. So that's part of the stuff that we would do in EFT if you came to see me as a, as a client to help clear away some of the negative stuff that's going to come up when you start to step into the positive because you've got to address the negative stuff. So you've come along and it said, no, I'm not happy with you. It said um, those thoughts, you've said your affirmations, but we don't really believe them. What are you going to do with those? You're going to pick up any of those little tail enders. You're going to pick up anything that's a yeah, but, and you're going to do tapping on that. And it may be just doing tapping on yeah, but I hear that I've got a yeah, but I say all the positive things and then there's this yeah, but you could add the yeah, but in. All of this stuff that I just say, yeah, but all those beliefs that I have, all those limits I carry around, all those ways that I believe I can't have what I want, all of those yeah, but, all of the yeah, but, Every single one of them. But yeah. But yeah. All of those. All of the ways I don't believe what I'm saying. All of the ways I'm just not in alignment with it. I say that I want it. And I've got a huge block as to why I don't want it. Or why it's not here. And what's coming up. Think of all the year buts and know that I just need to clear them. I can clear these one at a time. I can go through each of my beliefs, pick them up one at a time. Oh, there's a year but I can clear it. I have the power. I have the ability. And I definitely have the desire. And notice that you can get a couple of little bits and pieces or a couple of little tail enders couple of these little sentences coming up and you just clear them and you clear them and you clear them. So take them from a positive space and then wanting to renew your life, renew your invigoration, renew, renew all of that. It is going to take some time to clear the underneath stuff. However, you know one of my favourite things to do is getting up in the morning and putting a really positive spin on what the day is going to be about. I just tap through my imaginary day of how great it's going to be and the traffic's going to clear and my lunch is going to be amazing and all the fabulous people at work might talk to me and all the others won't and all the work I get to do is going to be fun and fabulous and all the stuff that's not, not going to come my way. Create this imaginary little world for yourself through tapping of what your day could be like and tap out some of that. Now, the positive change stuff, it's really about you being able to do the work on you to get to the positive stuff. We're going to clear out some of the negative garbage first, but it doesn't mean that you should stick in the negative and be held out in the negative and not get out of the negative. Don't do that to yourself. Come from a place of kindness. Come from a place of love. Come from a place of wanting the absolute best for yourself because when you come from that place that then means that the self 
self love you give to you will be able to then come through other ways for other people, for what they see, for the energy you bring, how you perceive and how you show up. All of that will come part of that. Do the tapping on the little bits and pieces. Do the tapping on the thoughts. You're, you're walking around at the office and you have a thought pop in your head. Just kind of stick your hand on your collarbone. Just do a little bit of tapping on it now and then. So it's a little bit more intense. Go for a walk. Go for a little walk around the, the office space. Go to the bathroom. Go and do whatever you need to do to take yourself away from the little space that you're in so you can just breathe. And just breathe. And the best way to clear yourself out of most things that are bugging you. I'm going to wish you much, much love. If you have questions, please pop them into the chat. If you have anything that you'd really like to connect with me on and come and have a conversation with me, please put send in a direct message and beautiful Leslie will help you get an appointment um, or help you to connect with me to ask all of the questions. We have our practitioner of EFT training open and our advanced practitioner will follow after that. We would love to welcome you into our training if we are the right school for you. And if that means a conversation with you and lots and lots and lots and lots of questions, I would welcome every single one of them. Much love to everyone and I will see you again 